Welcome back everybody. Thank you for being here. Today we do have four different brands. Hasbro, Takara, and two fake Beyblade drivers. First I'm going to take them all apart and then I'm going to measure them for you and show you exactly why we can actually interchange them all and use them. Whether it be Hasbro, Takara, any of the Rise drivers, any of the Slingshock drivers. We can actually use them all with our Takara Beyblades. I wonder why you have been lied to this whole time, but we do have another video of the five lies you still believe about Beyblades. So you can check the link right here and wait for the video to be done to check that out. You're watching Beyblade Dad and today we do have a special video of course showing you these four drivers. I'm going to take them all apart easily here. Two of them, you know, are fake and they're very easy to take apart. We just use a Phillips screwdriver and we can see all the different components right here. And of course, I'm going to measure them coming up. I will tell you that you shouldn't try this at home. Do not try to open up your drivers. This is why I'm doing it for you so that you don't have to hurt yourself or hurt others because actually the Hasbro and Takara Tommy drivers were a pain in the butt to take apart. Let me know in the comments below if you have already taken apart any of your own drivers, whether it be a fake one, a Hasbro one, or a Takara Tommy one. So I'm going to put all the parts here so that we can clearly see them, separate them all together, or separate them out, sorry. And of course, I'm going to measure the spring, the actual pack part that catches onto the layer of the Beyblade and I'm gonna measure the little white part that actually has the thing the clickers the, the, the things that go into the teeth of the layers so all of them are pretty much the same they look exactly the same and to the naked eye they will be the same even the springs you see, they look exactly the same. They're all made of the same material. And I am going to measure the thickness of them coming up. Some of them, you could actually feel the strength and the difference of them. Now, be careful. I am telling you, please do not try this at home. I tried very many ways to take these Hasbro driver and the Takara driver apart. I'm going to quickly fast forward all of this because it was a trial and error of so many different techniques and tools and none of them were actually really good to be honest. What I en ended up doing was actually using a hacksaw to cut the drivers. So I'm basically never going to use these two drivers again. Uh, one of them I did get through Facebook and I actually bought it as uh, bulk. So I actually, it's, it's whatever, it's just a sacrificial driver right now. The Takara driver, as I said, we have a few spares. So I figured, you know what, we're gonna just sacrifice this one and put this to rest. Let me know if you want me to take apart a Rise Beyblade driver or a Slingshot driver. And well, if this video gets enough views and likes, well, I'm gonna take apart a Dash driver and actually see and measure the components and make sure that they're different from this or if they're not then we'll just for once know for sure if we're actually going to be able to mix all of them now from what i think is that hasbro would not really change the design the original design of takara tommy remember that takara tommy is the parent company of these Beyblade creations and Hasbro has had the rights to make them here in America. So basically they're not allowed to change the designs and any changes that have been made are made through the layer of which everybody already knows and has seen. The we don't use teeth in the Hasbro layers. So that might be another explanation or, or something else that I will explain in another video too. Most of these drivers have the same length it feels like to me, but 
the difference is that strength of the spring believe it or not this hasbro one really feels strong and compared to the other ones i'm wondering what the dash driver that that spring that comes from it will feel like so in order to measure them correctly and accurately i do have a micrometer now this tool is used to measure it has an accuracy of up to one hundredth or a tenth of a inch so that's three decimal places so that we can actually know the precise difference and i think this is being way too uh, picky about it but we want to make sure i want to make sure that i give you correct information and you know what this could probably even be used for guys that do 3d prints now you have the exact measurements of the drivers guys and of course please do remember to like share and subscribe because that does help me out and first we're going to start off with measuring the length of the spring now this is a very important component because this is the actual total distance that the spring is actually trying to push out we see that the distance between each should be relatively the same but the makeup of the spring or just the thickness of the spring will actually determine how strong it will be so usually these springs are made out of something called spring steel which is an alloy they mix different steels together and different compounds or well chromium actually in steel to make these and so that it's actually a little bit uh corrosion resistance so that they don't rust easy that being said i don't advise you getting them ever wet now looking at the measurements here from all the way to tt and the fake the number two fake the smallest one the difference between them is as big as the thickness of paper of drawing paper to be precise so not very big difference at all the next thing that i'm measuring is of course the part that catches on to the layer the thickness of that now this is a very crucial piece because a lot of people think that this is what will damage the inside of a hasbro or a takra layer too let's see what the difference is and remember that when I'm measuring these, these measurements are so precise that they, <laughs> they can't really be argued with. And if I'm off, it might be off by a .0001 or two. Now, the difference between the biggest, which is the Takratami, and the smallest, the fake number two, is 0 0.0041. So that length or thickness is actually as thick as regular lined paper not very different at all the next thing i do want to measure and that's going to be the white little piece that has the teeth or well, yeah these are actual teeth uh, that actually go into the crevices of the layers uh, the layers have the indents for the teeth i guess where, where the teeth go into and that's going to be by measuring from the bottom all the way to the top of the tooth that is sticking out and this will allow us to have an accurate measurement of the distance it takes to get in there and once again you can see that the difference and it's a little bit off screen here but the difference between them is really 0 0.0064 which is once again as thick as regular paper so remember that these are the basic components of the drivers and the things that allow it to actually work with another Beyblade. So one thing to remember is that these companies, it doesn't benefit them if these drivers are different. They want to be the same. They need to be the same so that whenever you buy a Takara Tommy Beyblade, you could actually interchange all these drivers. So another thing is when people say that they will get damaged how how on earth could these hasbro drivers that are basically weaker in most people's minds how could they damage a driver from takara tommy having all the same measurements so so remember when somebody asks you or tells you that you cannot mix 
these two drivers or any drivers Beyblade drivers burst series drivers from different manufacturers you tell them have you measured it well I know who did and it was your buddy Beyblade dad thank you for watching guys make sure to like share and subscribe once again because that does help me out have fun out there keep it safe and knowledge is power let's let it rip